This is the incomplete building meant to accommodate immigration and customs officials at Katuna, a one-stop border post between Uganda and Rwanda. The government of Uganda borrowed over 4 million US dollars, approximately 14 billion shillings, from the World Bank to set up a modern one-stop border post to ease the free movement of goods and services between Uganda and Rwanda. Lawmakers from the East African Legislative Assembly visited the project site as part of the tour of East African Community Projects and they were concerned that the project had stalled. This is going to be our one-stop border post and it's going to be joined to Rwanda by a road through here. Because we are interested in finding out exactly why this project has stalled. It's a very important project for us. That's why we are around. According to Daniel Kalimuzo, an official from the Uganda Revenue Authority, the World Bank pulled out of the project, which caused the construction of the border post to stall. The project has stopped. Mm -hmm. Is that funding was withdrawn? And that why, why did fund was withdrawn? Now, I was not privy to that part. Someone from the Ministry of Work, so that he can give us answers. Uh, I'm, I'm not able to do that. I'm not able to instruct somebody from Ministry of Works. Not, uh, not, not instructing, mm -hmm. but liaising with them mm -hmm. so that you can, you can work together. You guys are not working together. Though the URA official was unable to explain why the fund has pulled out, it is evident that it could have been due to show the work done by contractor Amugoli General Enterprises. The land on which the building was constructed is in a wetland and the contractor could have underestimated the cost of constructing in such a site. And as a result, the building has developed cracks before its completion. It's because the area was swampy. Too swampy. So it is too swampy. Mm -hmm. The state of the building raises a very likely scenario that Uganda could lose millions of dollars borrowed to construct it. And the situation is still very disappointing given the infrastructure which has been put in place and the World Bank withdrew from, I think, from funding. We are yet to find out the reasons. Though the construction on the Rwanda side had stalled due to contractual issues, the government of Rwanda is fully funding their building and the construction has resumed. Now, the new contract has started. The current progress is almost at uh, 36%. Do you see a situation that you might finish your side and the other side is not yet complete? That's that what? Rwanda has finished, Uganda has not taken off? Meanwhile, the mayor of Katuna Nelson Ishangabe blamed the Rwanda authorities for death of two Ugandan businessmen who had crossed the border. Katuna and Katuna, the relationship is still weak. Our two people we are massacred here in Rwanda. Since then, there is no fallout. But the governor of the northern province of Rwanda, Jean Marie Vienne Gatabazi, hit back at the mayor over the allegations. For us, we count more than hundreds who have been having problems in Uganda. The regional MPs were on the tour to assess the progress of the community's projects so as to foster the ESC integration. Jingo Francis, NTV. Yeah. <laughs>